welcome. Today we are going to be showing you how to access your online account and place items on hold. So let's get started. You're going to go to the Easton Library website, which is eastonpl.org, and that'll take you right here to this screen. Then you're going to click on My Account, which will open a new screen for you, and you're going to sign in with your library card number and your PIN. By default, your PIN is the last four digits of the phone number we have on file for you. If for some reason that doesn't work, give us a call and we'll take a look, reset it, whatever we need to do. That's going to take you to your account summary. You can see any items that you have checked out or on hold or items that are ready for you to pick up. Keep in mind, while we are doing limited service, pickups are going to be by appointment only. So please wait until you have been called to set up an appointment to come and pick up your holds. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some items in the catalog. Normally, if you came into the library, you'd probably like to browse, see what's available, maybe go and look in the mystery section, you're really in feeling a mystery. Unfortunately, the catalog is not set up in a way that really is conducive to, to browsing. There is this browse the catalog option, and I will show you how this works. It's probably not going to do what you expect. Um, so something to be aware of, don't want you to be frustrated. If I search for little fires everywhere, maybe you saw the TV show and now you wanna read the book. This is the way the results come up. It's giving you everything that the main library owns alphabetically with little and then F. So little fires everywhere is in the middle. These are all of the, the things that the main library owns alphabetically on either side of it. Probably in this case, not what you had in mind. It's all good. This has its place. This just isn't it. Instead, I recommend you go and use advanced search. So here you have your option to search by keyword, title, journal title, author, all of those things. Um, most likely you'll be using title, author, or keyword. Keyword is helpful when you're not exactly sure what the title is. So maybe you know that there are little fires, but you don't know if it's everywhere or anywhere, then keyword might be a good search option for you there. I'm going to go ahead and put in the entire title here and search by title. Keep in mind that this search does not act like Google. So if you misspell something or if you do put little fires anywhere in your title search, it's not going to know what you mean. It's not going to guess the way that Google will. So if you aren't sure or if you do search and it doesn't give you any results, you could go out to Google and search for it and find out what that title actually is and then go back and try again. We do that a lot at the library. So I searched for the title Little Fires Everywhere and this is what it gives me. The Easton Main Library owns one copy and it's currently checked out. But if you look up here, that's, it did only search the main library. That's the default on this. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change it to Lehigh Valley Library System. And I'm going to do the search again. Now we have three options. We have the book, like we saw before. We also have a large print version. And then we have the CD audiobook. If you are specifically looking for something in large print or audio um, or a DVD, then format up here is a good option. You can go in and pick that format. But we've only got three options here, so that's not bad. Um, and then you can decide which version it is that you want. We're gonna go ahead and put the large print on hold. I'm gonna hit place hold. And it's gonna give me a few things I need to answer here. Which library do I wanna pick it up at? Do you wanna pick it up at the main library downtown? Do you want to pick it up at a Palmer branch? You can choose with this drop down, either one. I'm going to leave it at main. 
and then how are we going to contact you that this is ready? If you have an email address in your account, then yes, by email is probably already checked. Like I said before, right now we are only notifying people by phone because we are doing pickups on an appointment basis. So make sure if you place something on hold that you click yes by phone and the phone number that's entered in the box is correct. If it's not correct and we can't contact you, you're gonna have a hard time picking it up. So that's no fun for anyone. Make sure you've got the right phone number and then go ahead and hit submit. It does say that Bethlehem and Easton will be charging 50 cents to pick up holds. Um, right now, during curbside service, Easton is not going to be charging the 50 cents per hold to pick up. That may change, but when we are only doing curbside, we're not gonna be charging. Keep that in mind. If we change it, we'll let you know. But that's it. That's how you place an item on hold. You could do that for one item, you could do it for 15. It doesn't matter. Keep in mind, because items are still being shared between the different libraries, there is going to be some extra delay um, while items are being quarantined and while we are at a reduced delivery capacity. But I hope that helped and we look forward to seeing you at the library.